Hey guys, real quick, before the video starts, I'd just like to tell you all something. I recently got permission from Guy Lenore Wakes to be able to preview a video he made in this video for you guys. Basically, he's making a series featuring a real-life boy who wakes up in the animated world of RuneScape. I watched the first pilot episode that he has made, and it's actually very professionally done, and it's really worth a watch if you guys have time. Obviously, he's worked very hard on it, and I definitely think it deserves more recognition. You can click the annotation in this video, or you can find a link to it down in the description. From finally being able to take the wise old man's party hat to finding out just how fresh the sandwich lady's food is, we count down 10 more interesting facts about RuneScape. Number 10, when you kill chickens, they drop their meat, and they also drop their feathers, but they're both apart. This would mean that whenever you kill them, they automatically get their feathers plugged upon their deaths. That's interesting. Like, why don't we get a, like a, like a piece of chicken meat that still has feathers on it, and we gotta click it to be able to pluck them off? Huh. Number 9. The Magic Tutor, located outside of Lumbridge Castle, actually has level 1 magic if you think about it. She only gives out mind and air runes for the spell Airstrike. Number 8. Dr. Harlow, located in the Blue Moon Inn in Varrock, was once located at the Jolly Boar Inn in Northeast Varrock near the Wilderness. He's used in the free player quest Vampire Slayer, and is a bit of a drunk as he's always asking you to buy me a drink please, but it isn't until you actually ask him during the quest how you're supposed to kill a vampire that he miraculously resumes a totally sobered state, his words are no longer slurred, and asking him this is almost as if it distracts him of his current inebriated state. Number 7, so everyone knows that the sandwich lady will literally knock you out if you didn't ever talk to her, right? Well, she literally knocks you over the head with a fucking piece of bread and it's lights out. This could only mean that her food she gives out is so stale and hard as a rock that it'll literally knock you on your ass. Number 6. The random event NPC Rick Turpentine would attack you when you ignored him, right? Well, when the summoning skill was first released, if he attacked you and you had a spawn familiar out, your summoning familiar would actually attack him back even though you couldn't. Whatever did he drop though? I have yet to find a video about that. Probably just a spinner troll. <laughs> Number 5. Back in RuneScape Classic, only one person could talk to an NPC at a time, whether you were questing, trading, or banking. Yeah, that's right, even banking. Banking in Varrock literally became an exercise in spam clicking the banker in hopes of securing its attention. If you were fast enough, of course. Imagine if RuneScape was like that today. Biggest XP waste ever. Number 4. Another one about RuneScape Classic. The combat triangle was all kinds of messed up. Back then, most content was designed with melee in mind. You couldn't range when an enemy was attacking you, and metal armor gave the best protection but didn't hinder your bonuses in magic or ranged. In fact, one of the most OP things you could do in RSC was mage in full rune, making you quite deadly. Number 3. Have you ever wondered where the name Gylenor comes from? Well, if you think about the storylines and lore that come from the world of Gylenor, the game is mostly set up to be about gods and worshipping them. What else can you get out of the word Gylenor with all the letters in it? Religion. Mind blown. Number 2. On the 28th of May in 2006, right before the release of Construction, a very large area was visible across the ocean west of Tiranun on the world map. It was very pixelated and unrefined. It was removed shortly afterwards. It is unknown what purpose it served, if any, although since it was before construction, some speculate that it was used to test the player owned house's features before its release. Number 1. You can actually pick up the blue party hat during the wise old man robbing Drainer Bank cutscene. How is this possible? You can manipulate the game by using what is called a PAFT or Personal Area Force Teleport to get to the area located in the map where the cutscene takes place. The precise details on how to do this is much too complicated and it goes beyond my understanding of the bug, but I highly recommend you don't abuse this or figure out how to do it because you can't even wear, trade, or do anything with the party hat because it has a different item ID than the regular blue party hat. Once you get it, if you try to trade it, it will tell you that item isn't tradable. Please send a bug report to Jagex telling them how you got that hat. Once again, <laughs> mind blown. <laughs> That's it for this countdown, and if you know what I should count down next, post it in the comments and let's make it happen. 
Also, if you've watched this video this long for 20,000 subscribers, I'd like to do a little giveaway or something. As most of you know, I am not a rich man on RuneScape, however, I do have one mil cash that I would like to give away. For your chance to win, leave your in-game username down in the comment section and I will add you, I'll keep you at it, and I'll give you one mil in-game sometime in the near future. Once again, thanks for all the support, guys. It really means a lot to me. I'll talk to you all later.